hello friends welcome to our notion tour I'm gonna walk you through my entire notion setup how I use it what I use it for everything that's involved and I cannot wait um I also need a special beverage I am fully caffeinated I do not need any more coffee but I thought it would be nice to make a little iced cacao for our chat and I'll walk you through what I do this is one of my favorite drinks to make when I just feel like I want a coffee beverage, but I can't actually have any coffee right now. Um, so let's do that. Yeah. This is a uh, cocoa powder, like unsweetened, a little maple syrup, and a little bit of hot water just to melt these guys together. Electric whisk. I'm using the Chobani oat milk extra creamy. I think we're using the last of it. Some ice. Cheers. Mm. Such a little treat. So let's dive into Notion. I'm gonna switch the view so you can see my screen and we'll just hop right into a tour. All right, so let's dive in. So when you go to my Notion, it lands on my dashboard. Um, I just put this like photo here as a header. You call, they call it a cover. And um, then I just like had this here. because so it just kind of feels like, you know, I don't know, like a profile. So then you go down to the dashboard and this is how I've built mine out. So I put a to-do list here. Now to add a header like this, all you have to do is do dash header and then, or heading, and then you pick the size you want. So this is like a big heading. Um, and then, yeah, you just type that in. You can add a little divider. Anything you want to add, you just um, type a dash and then, or a slash and then it will let you add it down below. So then below my to-do list on the left, I have, these are my tasks from today. And then I just down below put next week. And so down below, if something comes up, I'll just put in um, something like if I think, oh, I need to remember to do that next week, I'll just go ahead and type it in my Notion. So I like to just do a dash like this space and it turns it into a bullet point and uh, edit Notion video, let's say. So then that is that. Then I added another column here. So this is broken up into three columns, four columns. Um, the second column, I just added a little photo. I think adding the photos and the colors make it a more pleasant place to be. So that's why I do that. Down here, I added what they call a call out. So to add a call out, you just do a dash call out. I can't, I don't know if I can do it in that header. Let's go down here and do it dash call out and it looks like that um, you can add whatever you want and then I link you can link by clicking here you can link to pages in your notion or you can link to outside websites you just paste the link in obviously I don't need this so I'm going to delete it but then on here we have my project management we'll run through each of these but we'll do that in just a second. Um, but this is basically just anything I need to reference for work often, basically. Then we have automation tools. So I use things like Otter, Flowgen. Flowgen breaks my podcast up into clips. Otter will transcribe my podcast. Bard is basically chat, chat GPT, but by Google. Um, and then Grammarly I use to check my grammar. And then I have websites that I visit frequently. One thing to keep in mind with Notion is that it's going to fit the computer that you build it on. So I built this on my iMac, which my, my screen's much bigger. And so when I put it on to my iPad or my laptop, it shrinks. So websites here shrinks down like that. And then these on my iMac are better. They're just prettier. But my iMac is at the office and I can't record this in the office. So we're recording it here. 
All right, so <laughs> I just link to the websites that I regularly visit. So that's my dashboard. Now here's the thing. I think I want to start a personal dashboard. This is my work dashboard. Um, I think it would be beneficial to have one for personal things, which I'll show you um, in a minute kind of why. But for now, this is my professional dashboard. Then we get into project management. In my work week, I update this once a quarter or as it needs to be changed. I have each day of the week and the tasks that I always do those days. Um, these are toggle lists too, so I can just kind of hide them. Again, to add a toggle list, you just do, here I'll show you, you do slash toggle list, and then the heading, and then you can add things down below. Also to color your heading like this, you go over here to the letter and then yellow background and voila. All right, so I'll also show you on the dashboard, I made these icons. So to change an icon, you just click on it. You pick the icon you want. Um, and then you can pick the color you want like that. But we'll go back here. So next is content ideas. As you'll see, I just have columns. They have spreadsheets that you can add in or like um, forms. I don't like them. I just don't use them. Um, that my brain breaks when I look at them. So I just added columns and then added checklists. So I have one for each of the different um, kinds of content that I like to make. And then I have CEO days. This is a really cool thing because these are things I do every single Friday. And then when I go to make my to-do list on Friday, you'll see I did it here with admin days. I can just go at CEO day and add a link to that other, that list as a task on my plate that day. So that's what that is. And then I have admin days, which are what I do on Mondays. So these are the things I do every single Monday. And again, like you'll see, that's just one item on my to-do list for the day, but it links to the longer, more consistent list. That way I don't have to type that up every single day that I do it. Um, this is where I write, like if I'm writing an essay, um, this is this the phase that I would like to do. Um, this is like a braided essay process. It's just help for, helpful for me to have that there. And then this is just like a little bit of the writing I'm working on right now. And um, I like sped through that for privacy. And then we have content calendar. So this is like how often I like to be posting where. Themes for Instagram stories, themes for the podcast, content pillars. Like I like to have like all of my content fall into one of these areas. And then types of content. So how much do I need to do of writing, filming, and graphics for that week? Sometimes I use this just as a guide and then sometimes I'll use it actually fill it out every week and then follow that because it can help my brain sometimes if I need it, but I don't do it every week. Um, let's see. <clears throat> for budgeting, the top part of this, so this is for when Obi and I do a money meeting which we used to do weekly and now we do about once a month, but it's just got like, what do I need to do that week for our budget? What does Obi need to do? And then our weekly agenda. Um, we still meet once a week or kind of talk over these things, but it's like, what are our work schedules? We fill out the calendar for that. Who's cooking dinner when? Um, what's our grocery list? Uh, we do HelloFresh a lot. So what's our HelloFresh menu this week? Um, we, ch we just talk through like what's in what bank account. We talk about what bills are coming out that week. We talk about paying which, you know, we, we try to pay the credit cards every week and then assign any money tasks. And then how much are we spending on groceries? That's like our biggest expense. So we just kind of talk about it. We also have a long-term agenda here, um, but that feels a little private. So I'm going to keep that for us. Then we have the big task list. This I make at the beginning of the quarter. And then I just kind of go through and check things off as I do them. Um, and yeah, and then I pull from this every month and put it into, um, my plan for the month. I try to do at least one of those big tasks every Monday and, um, and that's how I approach it. It's just every Monday I pull something from the big task list. Then I have like my goals for the quarter. I have career goals, recreation goals, health goals, relationship goals, and then goals for just myself. And um, 
Oh, I did that. Um, I do that at the beginning of the quarter and I just kind of go back and visit it and every Friday and see how we're doing. And then we have my yearly plan. This is new. I don't really use it yet, but um, we're on quarter two right now because I do it by season, not by fiscal quarters. So we can look at March, you know, it's like March, April, May, May, I have like my intended things. So I've kind of broken this up by what, what am I launching that month? This month I'm launching my incubator where I fly to you and we start your business. We work together for three days and, um, we can like make a huge dent. We can like build your website, your headshots, write your copy. We can write your sales emails and, um, talk about how to build an online presence, how to build a website, things like that. Um, I'm doing that. I'm selling four of those for 2023 and launching that in May and then repetition. So what do I need to kind of always be doing? That's their growth. What do I want to be doing in order to grow my, um, platforms? I really want to grow TikTok and YouTube. So I need to, you know, be more strategic. And then we call this a runway. This is basically like if you're launching a product, you want to create content that like preps your audience for it. that is for May and then I do the same thing quarter three you know I have them <clears throat> set up and I'll check in on these every quarter as well just to make sure the plan is accurate then we go in to YouTube checklist um, this is just everything I need to do before I post a YouTube video to be strategic. This is pretty new for me. I haven't typically been strategic with YouTube. I kind of just make videos and post them. Um, but as I start to be more strategic, I'm going to add each of these things in over time. So that is my dashboard. And then over here to the left, you'll see I have other pages. So I have reflections. This is where I think I want to start having a personal dashboard because these are all personal things. So reflections is just, these are the prompts that I go through during each of these seasons. So this is at the end of a quarter, my monthly planning session and my weekly planning session. And I just like to have these here because as I'm doing my planning, I can just follow it like a checklist. And this is like book ideas, affiliate links. Like if I get kickbacks, um, for like something like wild grain, I can offer like what discounts I can offer people and then what I, my link for that. And then I keep my coaching notes here. So all of my coaching clients, I keep their notes here and then I, I send them to them in Slack. And then this is what I call my commonplace folder. And if you don't, if you're not familiar with a commonplace book, it's essentially the idea that you like keep information that you hear written down into a place. I started doing this just two nonfiction books ago. So, um, it's basically where I just like take notes on a nonfiction books that I'm reading. I used to write book reports cause I'm a nerd, but now I'm just kind of keeping notes like this. So I'm reading the book right now, how to tell a story by the moth. And so I'm breaking it up into sections. So what story to tell? And then for each one, I have a quote, but these are toggle lists. So you untoggle the list and you have my notes from the chapter, what story to tell. And then is this a story? You can get my notes on that. And I have, if it's particularly long, I'll do toggle lists within a toggle list, as you can see. And then right here, building a story. This one was thick. Um, so it's like really like in depth. So as you can see, it's nice to be able to toggle them back into itself, you know, but that's on that. Um, this I purchased from Jules Acree. Um, if you might've heard her on my podcast, she's an amazing YouTuber who does a lot with Notion. I purchased her design your year Notion pack. Um, I haven't used it yet. Um, she uses a lot of tables and my brain just it doesn't like them. She also does a thing where she like connects your goals to your to-do list and it just like automatically populates. I think that would work for some people's brains. It doesn't work for my brain. I'm way too fluid to, to make that work, but I'm keeping it for when I do quarterly planning again. Cause I think I'm going to pull some of her ideas and like build them myself in ways that work for my, for my, the way that I function. 
But if you want someone, if you just want to copy and paste your Notion, she's got so many good Notion templates. Um, this is another Notion template that I got from, this is from the team at Fairdrop. Um, it's a company who teaches you how to do credit card points. These are fake numbers. This is just their template. I haven't, I haven't filled it out yet for me. But it basically helps you to keep track of like the cards that you have and what programs you're using and then your loyalty programs and your your bank accounts and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I haven't integrated this yet, but this is they gave this to us for free at Fairdrop. All right, friends. So that is my tour of Notion. Please let me know if you have questions in the comments below. If I can answer them in the comments, I will. If I can't, I will record a little short video about it and put it in shorts. But thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know if there's things that you'd like to you think like ideas that you have for my Notion. I would love to hear those as well. And if you have any other video requests, put those in the comments too. Let's just keep, keep the ideas flowing. And thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you next week for another one. Bye.